And tomorrow night, Jewish families around the world will celebrate the first night of Passover. Up until the last minute, companies are working to get traditional food items to homeless. And they gave CBS 2's Lisa Rosner a behind the scenes look at how it's done. In this Bayonne, New Jersey warehouse, these are the first sounds of Passover. Before being bottled, wine and grape juice is harvested at an upstate New York winery. And inside these tanks is the final blending and finishing. It reintroduces the gas into solution and voila, you end up having a sparkling wine made right here. There are traditionally four cups of wine at the Seder table, representing the redemption of the Jews from slavery in Egypt. Eighth generation company owner Nathan Herzog says some of his over overhead costs increased 30 percent, but consumers are only paying a few cents more this year for Kedem, one of the company's most popular brands. They worked overtime, everyone, just making sure the glass is coming in, the plastic's coming in, grapes, harvest. Families will gather around a Seder plate containing food symbolic to the Jews' exodus from Egypt, and matzah represents the unleavened bread the Jews ate on their journey because there was no time to let the bread rise. Manischewitz has been making matzah for more than 130 years. For those mint lovers, we have mint chocolate covered matzah, which is like a Girl Scout cookie matzah. The company is now owned by Keiko, which this Passover is also debuting almond butter chocolate, Calabrian chili peppers, Korean barbecue roasted seaweed, and from soup to nuts, there are more than 100 food brands in this Bayonne, New Jersey warehouse ready to be distributed. Something that comes in today could land in a store tomorrow. And this year, another holiday staple, kosher meat, can land on your doorstep. Wall Street veteran Elliot Moskowitz started Prairie Street Prime, personally sourcing prime meat, which the USDA considers the highest grade. Our freezers are 20 below zero. We process and flash freeze the next day. Over the last four months, we've been building significant inventory. He says the big sellers are the lamb and the brisket. One nonprofit, Jew Belong, is encouraging people to add to their Seder plate peace olives for Ukraine, inspired by an olive branch, and coffee to wake people up to the growing cases of anti-Semitism. All you need to do to celebrate Passover is to eat and drink. Happy Passover in Elizabeth, New Jersey. Lisa Rosner, CBS 2 News. And for resources on where to find a free storybook that families read, along with for the first two nights of Passover, just go to cbsnewyork.com.